as we get ready for the inaugural Palace Athena Women's Fighting Championship. Fighter making their way to the Palladium from the blue corner. Please welcome Stephanie Snafu Essenza. In tonight, making her pro MMA debut. Please welcome Manuela, the Butcher's daughter, Marcanetto. Oh, I'm so excited. It's my pro debut. I think uh, she's gonna be tough. She wants to keep it standing. I'm happy, but I, I will happily put her on her back if she gives me the opportunity. Whoa, might as oh, well put a it. bullseye. Yeah. That left is landing. Oh, oh, oh there it is. That nice double. Take nice takedown. Very nice takedown. Oh, wow. wow. An attempted takedown there. Nicely Great defended. Game. Whoa. Oh. Oh, wow. Marketo. for your winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Manuela, the Butcher's daughter, Mark Hanetto. Tell me, how does it feel to be the first winner in the Palladium of Canada's first all-female mixed martial arts event? Well, so I'm so excited. I'm so grateful to be here. I'm safe, I'm crying. Well, I'm so emotional and I can play. I'm so happy. Really, really, really great fight all around. Our next fight will feature Clara Ricciannulo and we've also got Maria Jukic. Both of these fighters are very dynamic fighters, should be able to put on a great performance. First fighter making her way to the Palladium in the blue corner, Clara Ricciannulo. Her opponent from the red corner, Maria Juki! This girl doesn't know anything about me. I train uh, morning, afternoon. It's my comeback, I'm very happy. Got tagged to France. Oh. Maybe she's just gonna like, you know, wake up and smell the flowers and be like, okay, this is the real deal. Swarming her up against the cage, dropping elbows. Clara did an incredible job recovering. Scores this fight 29 28 for your winner by split decision. In the red corner, sweet Maria Juki. That was amazing. That was a war. Having fun and bringing on a war, right? Putting a show for everybody else here, too, right? That's what we want. And there's just so much more to learn, and that's what it's about, too. So I'm happy about that. Our first athlete making their way to the Palladium in the blue corner, Atlanta Co- <laughs> Now making their way to the Palladium from the red corner, Maxime Turcotte, Novus. I think it's gonna be a really good matchup in the cage. Fine, fast hands with a reach of oh. You know, there were a lot of game women in amateur boxing to, to fight me. And then there are some that actually quit boxing after fighting me. Oh! Oh! What a nice takedown there. Great takedown. Great 
that's what's up. Ooh, that's, that's a nice nasty posture. Posture up. of the first round for your winner by tap due to rear naked choke in the blue corner Alana the Alana Bokko. Um, you have a Thai boxing background and I noticed as you were running around the cage that you were doing something that I, I recognize from Thai boxing. Yeah so uh, in uh, Thai boxing it's called uh, the Y crew so it's just uh, showing respect for the ring and uh, in Thailand you know uh, fighting is also a very spiritual thing so it's going around and touching every part of it and just really humbling myself you know it's not just a sport to me it's a way of life so uh, just trying to bring that here excellent and you are a very humble winner everybody Atlanta Cook coming up next though we've got Jackie McLean taking on Melissa Croton fight fans first making her way to the Palladium from the blue corner Jackie McLean Now making her way to the Palladium. From the red corner, Melissa Crowden. More on the spiritual journey as a fighter. Beautiful entrance with the body lock there. I just always kind of thought of myself as a warrior. Those are nasty elbows. Leave you open to get taken down, but oh, this could be a slam. There it is. Oh, but nice. gives up back. A nice slam takedown, but speed and heavy hands from Croton from Melissa Croton, who punished her. And she's got the she's got the lock. It's gonna be hard. There it is. That it is now. Nice. And there it is. Melissa Croton, your winner against for your winner by tap to the rear naked choke. In the red corner, the Alchemist Apprentice, Melissa Brody! Can you tell me about how you changed up your training to help you perform a little different in the cage this time? Well, the ironic part about that is I went a little bit backwards to find my roots and how I was raised as a fighter by my coach. Um, so we kind of, I dragged all my teammates and myself through hell uh, to try and get myself back to where I was so I can be the example for the people I love in my life. So it's been a, a lot of like soul searching and soul work that I had to do. So In our co-main event tonight, it's Simone De Silva taking on Dakota Ditchova. Fight fans! Are you ready? From the blue corner, Simone Da Silva making her way to the Palladium from the red corner, Dakota Dutua. I started uh, doing box first like, when I was eight. Really, really good to her right now. Yeah. Very yeah. quickly yeah. caught that catch. Well, my mom actually used to be a fighter, so um, I kind of got it in the jeans. Started fighting when I was about four. Oh, big oh. punches coming Look across. Look at those. Those are not fresh. Yeah. Oh, oh, another oh, huge oh, knee. Oh, oh, oh wow. For waiting. Oh. Oh. Great job by DeSilva to continue to yes, rotate absolutely. to get the feet off the fence there. Just try to get out of it. You can't take anything away from Simone De Silva at this point in this fight. She's She's been everything what she wanted to do defensively. Oh. I think this is it, this is it! And that there is, is it! There it is! Dakota Dichiva! For your winner by ref stoppage due to strikes in the red corner, dangerous Dakota Dichiva! You do have a very, very decorated Muay Thai history, which we saw a lot of, of that, those techniques in this fight, but I also have to say that you are exceptionally dominant on the ground you had so much control over her is that something that you've really been focusing on 
since you made the switch to MMA? Yeah, definitely. I have put a lot of time into my groundwork. Um, I can just thank my coaches, Aaron and Carl, and the guys back home, you know, for, for all the time they spend um, working that with me, because obviously my Thai background, everybody just comes to take me down all the time, so I always have to know what I'm doing on the floor, and I've got them guys to thank for that. This is um, an opportunity that not many get, and my mum, she used to fight in Canada sometimes when she was a fighter, so to come and relive that again with her, with me, is, is amazing, so thank you guys for having me. Show her some love, Dakota Ditchema! Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, someone whose game, we've got the first ever Palace Athena champion in the ring, Sarah Kaufman. Well, my goal has always been to be the best in the world. I know that I'm the best in the world. I know that I'm the best in Canada. This belt, this is what this means. I'm the best in Canada. Anyone who wants to come take this belt can come take this belt. But because I want to be the best in the world, I want to be fighting Juliana Pena. She's currently number one. That's the spot that I want. Since fighting in the UFC, my last loss was to uh, two weight classes up. I've been five and one. Out of the UFC, I lost to Valentina Shevchenko by split decision. She's now pound for pound, number one female fighter in the world. Three submissions in my last three wins. That's who I need to be fighting. Very definitive. Juliana Pena, Sarah Kaufman is looking for you. <laughs> she wants to fight. She wants you to come and challenge for that 135 title. Fight fans, are you ready for our main event of the evening? Five rounds for our inaugural PAWFC Strawweight title. From the blue corner, Laura Fontura. Oh. From the red corner, Andy Wynn. It's going to be one hell of a matchup. I think it's going to be a great fight. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a boring fight. Oh, and that round is down. But because I'm, I'm going with my heart, I'm going to do my best. Gentlemen, referee Andy Social stops this fight, and your inaugural Palace Athena Women's Fighting Championship Strawweight World Champion, Laura Fontura. Laura, excellent performance tonight. Tell me how you're feeling right now. What does this mean to you? I was so much feliz. Eu cansei muito por causa que é a primeira luta internacional. She então, says she's really happy for this and thank you God and she says she's really tired her first event international and and then but here's her lot of high altitude too but she's did amazing she said the future promise for she's gonna be great. Make sure she can hear you fight friends Laura Fontura But we're not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. We got three bonuses to give away tonight. We have fight of the night, submission of the night, and knockout of the night. Our knockout of the night goes to Dakota Deech Chiva. I think the coach Dakota smells blood right now. I think this is it, this is it. And that there is, it is it. There it is. Dakota Deech Chiva. For fight of the night, we are going with Clara Resignulo. Claire throws a bunch. Submission of the night, ladies and gentlemen. It's no surprise. We're going to be giving that one to Laura Vontura. But what a night of fights here at Palace Athena. All of us, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.